Hello book friends, my name is Kelly and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe and help my little channel grow. Today is my March TBR. Um, I thought I was going to take it light this month, but it turns out I have like three huge books on my TBR. One of them I've already talked about, um, is Blackwater and that is going to be a group read, but it is not like mandatory that I finish it this month because I am pretty much having the group read be a March and April thing because it is so big. It's like 700 pages. And so that is one I've already talked about. I also have my book clubs from Hell Book Club where we read Vintage Horror and that is The Disembodied. That was chosen by Katrina over at Katrina Brown. And then my Eerie Indies books uh, is a short story collection by Caitlin Marceau and that is a black Blackness Absolute. I talk more about it on my announcement video and I'll put that in the information below. Um, two book clubs that I'm going to try to get to. The first is the Dark Hearts Book Club run by Amy Noel over at Amy Noel Reads. And that book is The Good House by Tenerife Du. I believe it is like a haunting type story. So this could be good or bad for me because I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, looks like it is, there's a house that the main character's grandmother owned, um, and it's called The Good House. Angel hoped her grandmother's famous healing magic could save her failing marriage. While she and her family lived in the old house the summer of 2001, instead an unexpected tragedy ripped Angel's family apart. So, tragedy, a house, and... So yeah, I don't want to read too much into it and go in with expectations, but I've heard so many people really like this. Um, the second book for a book club is for the Spinebreakers Book Club, and that's run by Brad Proctor. They chose The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas, and it states that it's Mexican Gothic meets Rebecca. And so I've read Mexican Gothic, and it was just okay for me. Um, Rebecca, I haven't read, but it is set in the aftermath of the Mexican War of Independence, about a remote house, a sinister haunting, and the woman pulled into their clutches. Another haunting story. So, uh, hoping at least one works for me. Um, another buddy read that I plan to do uh, with my friend Mackenzie Peekaboo Reads on Instagram we're doing Lindsay Sands, An English Bride in Scotland. We are on a historical romance kick, so they seem to be working out good as buddy reads. This, I'm sure, is exactly what it says. There's an English bride, and she's in Scotland. Okay, the last buddy read that I have planned is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, and that's with MJ, um... I'm not sure, MJ at Reading This Life, I'm not sure if other people are going to be joining or not, but she mentioned she wanted to read it, and I said, okay, I'll, I'll join you. Um, I know this is a lot about video game design and a relationship. Um, I don't know too much about it other than it was a Good Reads Choice Award for Best Fiction, so I want to see if it's worth the hype. Um, I know people liked Ready Player One and that's video game related and that was just okay for me. I'm hoping this one is better. Um, the last two books that I have planned, if I'm not forgetting other things, uh, it's middle grade March. I am not following any specific like prompts that, uh, challenges, readathon, whatever. I just picked up two middle grade books that go along with seri a series that I am working on finishing and I don't know if this is like the end or if there's going to be more but I picked up Dark Waters and Empty Smiles from Catherine Arden and these books are 
book three and four of the Small Spaces series. Um, so I won't read too much into what they are about, but I found that the first two books were a lot darker than I thought they would be for middle grade. So they are pretty decent. The covers are beautiful. They all more or less match. I feel like the first cover looks a smidge different, but this one has a clown, obviously, and this one is like deep, dark water, which I personally am afraid of, but that is all I think that I have planned for March. I'm sure I will DNF. I will pick up other stuff that I hadn't previously planned to read. I now have my Kindle Unlimited um, membership, I think, ends in April, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Um, but that's it. That's all that I plan to read. If you've read any of these, do you want to buddy up on any of these? Hit me up in the comments or send me a message. Uh, that's all I got and I will see you in the next video. Bye!